Hey guys, so this is another A-frame tutorial on CodePen and this time we're going to be talking about basic lighting, so the different kinds of lights that you can use on your scene. As you see, my scene here is a Taurus knot, which is kind of grayish color, a very simple scene. We are actually going to delete the color so we can play around more easily with the lights. Um, and if you come back to the A-Frame website, under Properties, you will see the description and the different kinds of uh, lights that you can have. So ambient, directional, hemisphere, point, spot. Um, what we want to do with this example is to start by adding um, a uh, ambient light, sorry. Uh, so let's add the ambient light. You have to specify the type of light that you want. So ambient, then choose the color, for example, red. And you can also specify the intensity. Let's leave it at one for the moment and we can play around with it later. And we close this light like that. There you go. Uh, so as you see, uh, the Taurus node is now red, so very red. So if you play around with the intensity and you put it at 0 0.1, you will see it's very dark. Uh, 0 0.5, it's more of a, yeah, it's still a darker red. Uh, if you want to bright, then I'll leave the intensity at 1. Um, so if we want to add another type of light, we can just actually copy and paste this like that. And let's just change the type to spotlight. Oh, one of the things is that the ambient light will affect all the entities in your scene. Um, the spotlight, it will only come from one direction. It's very much if you are on stage, if your entity is on stage and there's a spot a spotlight illuminating it. So I will show you in a second. So let's change the color to yellow. That way you can differentiate it and uh, you need to add the angle, okay? Um, because that's the direction where it's coming from. And as you can see yeah, there um, on the screen, it has appeared a uh, kind of illumination, uh, yellow illumination on your entity. You can augment the intensity and there you go. It's, <laughs> that's very ugly, but it's a higher intensity. Uh, we can leave it for example at five. And we can change the angle, for example, if it's an angle of, I don't know, 90. Uh, well, you can barely see it there. Yeah. Um, or 200. Just go crazy. Uh, there you go. Um, if you come back to the website, you can see here all under spot all of the properties that you can add to the spotlight. Um, yep. Now that we've done that beautiful example, uh, not really, <laughs> let's take a look at the other kinds of lights that we can use. So if you come back to the A-Frame website under A-Light, you have the line here for a directional light. It's pretty simple, you copy and paste or you can write it yourself. Um, so let's just specify that it is a directional your type of light. Um, color red, I've already used red, so let's make it a bluish color. And you guys will notice that this time they've added the position. So that is where you want your light to come from, of course. Uh, so you can see that on your X axis you have minus one and on your Y axis you have one. Um, it really depends on you. Uh, this being a directional light, it's good to have it in the X and the Y axis. Um, if you also come back to the website, you have a point light that you can add on top of your directional light. And you just copy and paste the line like that again. Uh, this time it's specified that it is a point light and we don't want to use the same color because we want to differentiate it. So let's use the magenta color. And there you go, there you have it um, on the screen. Uh, you can actually play around with the position uh, if you guys don't want it in the Y axis, but on the X axis, 
or if you want to put in a negative value like minus five so it just comes into the other way um, however you guys it really depends on how you want to modify your scene uh, oh by the way all these colors you can use also the html color codes i have uh, here this page open here so for example if i want to use the silver color instead of the magenta i just come right back and paste that instead and yeah there you have it um a silver color um i think i like the magenta better so let's just go back and so either the color code or the name will work magenta um another things that you guys can do is add a hemisphere light so this is not going to be that pretty but i'm just going to show you uh so same thing you copy the line and you are going to specify that it's a hemisphere no a hemisphere with an eye hemisphere light um yeah okay so you guys get the idea uh let's just modify the intensity of that t of that uh for example 0 0.1 um and you still yeah you, you, you can't see it there so 0 0.5 yeah you still you can start seeing it then um and if you do it a full one that it will cover up your entire entity uh so yeah that's not pretty uh i prefer it the way we had it before so the thing about lights guys is not to go overboard uh it's very subtle art uh which i obviously don't have so if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me on twitter and for the time being bye